This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. I'm excited about our guest today. He's going to uh, talk to us about your customer's secret language. He's going to share his entrepreneurial journey, and that's Jeffrey Shaw. He's known as the lingo guy. We'll ask him about that. And he's been the go-to portrait photographer for an exclusive clientele for over 30 years. You've seen his work on shows like The Oprah Show, CBS News, and O Magazine, People Magazine, New York Family Magazine, and his book, Lingo, Discover Your Ideal Customer's Secret Language and Make Your Business Irresistible, helps business owners grow and entrepreneurs grow and understand their ideal customers on a deeper level, which increases engagement and their profits. Jeffrey, it's an honor to have you with us today. Well, Derek, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you for having me. You bet. We'd like to start by hearing about some of your background. Many of our listeners, many of our listeners are entrepreneurs, many are not, uh, but we love to learn from our guests about what happened in their past to get them to where they are today. So if you don't mind, take us on a little bit of your journey and then we'll talk some more about lingo and some of the other topics that I really wanted to discuss with you today. Awesome. Well, my journey, like a lot of entrepreneurs, has been a windy one, and uh, certainly not a certainly not a straight line, but in a long one. I've been, uh, gosh, you know, actually, I'd say I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. Uh, everything from you know selling eggs door to door to selling Christmas cards door to door. You know, we're talking like when I was 14 and 15 years old. Uh, went off to photography school, which I completed that program by the age of 20, and went immediately into. Uh, portrait photography as a profession. Uh, Floundered for the first three years, struggling to get a business off the ground and realize I was in fact, you know, that was a turning point moment for me to realize I was speaking the wrong language to the wrong people, uh, which led me to completely recreate, reinvent my business uh, as a portrait photographer uh, and, and cater to a luxury market. And, uh, you know, flew along just terrific doing that. Loved the work, uh, built a family and a, a wonderful life on that. And just got a bug in me about eight years ago um, where, you know, people were coming to me for help and support because I was known to be successful in this field of photography. And I started coaching people, but I wanted to make it legitimate. So I went to coach training and, and got all the training. I've done lots of, I've never stopped receiving training, let's put it that way, uh, as a coach and as a leader, because it's a constant educational process of what is one wants to get better at what they do and being able to support others. And, uh, you know, eventually you find yourself on stages speaking. I started my podcast, Creative Warriors, three and a half years ago, uh, actually more as a personal challenge. I didn't quite get the strategy of it all and how, how it can really elevate your presence. To me, it was just, it was just a personal challenge. Like what would happen if I had my own podcast? <laughs> And uh, that led me to finally, you know, again, by a very roundabout way, this is actually my third book that I've written, but the first one wow. to get published. Wow. Uh, I, I shelved the other two for one reason or another. And this this came out through a very casual conversation uh, with who turned out to be my editor was not an editor for me at the time, which is somebody I was at a gathering with. And in a casual conversation, I told her this crazy story that I encountered at 23 years old, which was a turning point moment for me as an entrepreneur. And I shared that story with her and she goes, that's your book. Mm. And I realized that the book I needed to write, Lingo, is actually a culmination of very unique marketing strategies that I've been using and applying for 30 years. And I think the world is ready and, and needs to, to, to hear what I have to say about this idea of lingo. 